Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Obapa. Today recipe, I'm going to teach you how to make avocado soup using fresh avocado to make it. Let's measure our oils. We need 254 grams of virgin olive oil. Make sure you measure your oil correctly because in soap making, you have to make sure that you are using the exact measurement. Don't change it, don't increase it or don't decrease it. Also, we are going to use 154 grams of virgin coconut oil. Make sure you are using virgin coconut oil. We have the one that we, they have used heat to make it. That's why when you run it through the lye calculator, it also gives you a different lye percentage. So please try and use the virgin or run your recipe through the lye calculator. And I'm using 39 grams of custard oil. Custard oil is very good for the skin and it can make the soup harden faster for us. 92 grams of hemp seed oil and hemp seed oil too is very good for the skin and it can clear rashes and blemishes too. I'm also using mango butter which is one of my favorite butter too you can use shea butter but make sure you run it through the like a clutter if you are changing the recipe the oils i'm using just go online and search for like a clutter enter your oils in it and calculate it to give you the right amount of sodium hydroxide you want to use and also the quantity of water you need to use so i'm using 126 grams of dysteric water and when i checked my like a clutter the dysteric water was more so i took part of the dysteric water for my avocado i'm using 105 grams of sodium hydroxide and i'm using 40 grams of yogurt which is very good for skin exfoliation and also very good for skin glowing so i'm coming to make my avocado puree so I, I hope you know how to make it because it's so easy. And as I told you, I took part of the water to replace the avocado, the same as the yogurt. So when you run your soap measurement or your ingredient through the lye calculator online, it will give you the quantity of water you need. That quantity of water, if you are decided to use any fruit in your soap or any anything like you want to bring in your soup you can take part of the water to replace that that is how we make soap so anything that contain water in the soap that's what we do i'm using 30 grams of fragrant oil you can use essential oil of your choice but i'm using fragrant oil and you can choose not to add any fragrant or essential oil to it there are some people who uh, asthmatic patient normally their product doesn't contain fragrant so if you are asthmatic patient you can choose to leave the essential oil and the fragrant oil out now what i'm going to do is to melt my oil i'm going to melt my oil because i have a lot of mango butter in it sometimes i don't melt my oils i use the heat from the light to make this soap but this time i'm melting it so i'm dissolving my sodium hydroxide which is lye to so that we can make the soap so always add your sodium hydroxide to your dysteric water Stir very well so that everything will dissolve in the water the water will really become very hot so always use cold water to dissolve your lie so now my oil is back and my oil is around 120 degrees fahrenheit so i'm adding my avocado puree to it so that i will blend it for it to melt sorry for it to mix with the oil you have to make sure you add to it you blend it first i'm also going to add my yogurt to it so when i add my yogurt to it too i'm going to blend it for it to a combine in it so as i say my oil was around 120 degree fahrenheit the same as my light solution sometimes when i'm making soup i normally don't melt my oils i use the heat from the light solution because the light solution really shoot very high um, um, temperature 
But now, because I have a lot of butter and I have avocado and the rest, the temperature can decrease. That's the reason why I'm melting my my oil. So both my oil and my light solution was around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I have added my sodium hydroxide solution and blend it a little more. And I'm using my Rex to stir it because I don't want it to trace on me. I want to have time to work with it. So I have added my fragrant oil and I'll keep stirring and stirring and stirring so that everything combined. You can make soup with us a blender. You can use your whip to whip it, but it takes time because you have to make sure that the soap mossify. If the soap doesn't mossify, your soap will separate at the end of the day. So the reason why I use both is that I don't want it to trace on me, which it become thick on me. That's the reason why I blend a little and then I use the whip. Now I will pour my soap into my soap mode. I couldn't film the part I added my makeup powder. I added a green makeup powder to it. It's not compulsory to add makeup powder to it. So I thought I was filming that part, but I found out I couldn't film that part. So I'm doing a texture on the soap. It's not compulsory to design your soap top, but it's fun to make it. So this soap smells very good and this soap is very creamy. It's really moisturized the skin very well. Avocado is good for anti-aging. It's good for sensitive skin. It's good for those who have eczema. Uh, it's good for those who have rashes. It's really exfoliate the skin and it can make your skin glow very well. So now we are going to let the soap sit for 24 hours for it to harden before we can cut the soap. But after 24 hours and your soap having hardened, let it sit down more so that it can harden. It depends how much quantity of water you use that make your soap harden faster or not so make sure that your soap hardening before you cut it into the sizes that you want then we are going to cure it so now it's 24 hours and my soap has hardened so i'm going to cut it into the sizes that i want as i say you can customize this soap all you need to do is go online or google and search for like calculator it will give you you enter the quantity of oils you want in the light calculator and the type of oil you want and the light calculator is going to show you the how much water you need and how much sodium hydroxide you need you can see how beautiful my soap is and the soap smells so good i really love that fragrant oil it's called strawberry i think it's called sugar strawberry yeah fragrant oil i will leave the recipe down in the description box and the links to where you can purchase the ingredients too so if you want to make a large quantity the same time you need to go to the light calculator and increase the amount of the oil and it's going to give you how much sodium hydroxide you need and how much water you need you cannot double the recipe without not running it through the light calculator please cure this soap for four weeks before you can use it because we still have a little sodium hydroxide in it thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe share my video like my video and leave me a comment bye